Hey guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company down under in New Zealand. We're going to talk about a really, really simple thing today. Gearbox shifters. The bit that goes in the car. We're going to work our way through to the VVTi, which is our focus. Got one beside me, the proper one. So let's have a really quick look at that. And then we'll look at the other versions. Wiggly. Do, 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 do. D4, 3, 2, L2. We're remembering what that looks like. Now I don't happen to have a UCF 10, but I've got a surf one. Park, reverse neutral, D2L. Okay, no sideways, six positions. Right. Okay, we have UCF 20 and terrible sunshine. Wow, it's fantastic sunshine, but not good for video. Park, reverse neutral, D3. Let's investigate that further. Put the handbrake on. You'll notice there's a sideways motion there. Back, back. So six up and down with a sideways. Now here we have a shifter and fantastic light again. We're going to look. Uh, now, if we push the shifter all the way forward, the lever comes all the way back. So we've got park there. Reverse, dr neutral, drive, second, and low. Six positions. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I took you out and I showed you the five-speed A650 gearbox, the auto, it also has six positions on the transmission. So how does Toyota do this, give you five gears with six positions? So that would be low, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Neutral, reverse, and park. Eight places. But they do it with six. Same on the four speed, Low, second, third, fourth, neutral, reverse, park. Seven. But they do it with six. Well, on the early ones, of course, they have the overdrive button. And that gives you drive position, gives you third, or push the button, and it gives you fourth overdrive. And the VVTi... The five speed, they use the same principle. Just like that UCF20, there was a sideways motion in the shifter. The VVTi uses exactly the same principle. This again, we're back to this proper VVTi shifter. We move it out of park, down to reverse, levers moving, down to neutral, levers moving. Down to drive. Now watch this. The lever doesn't move position. However, there's some switches inside that are moving. Third, down to low. And again, across to first, the lever doesn't move. This is a really, really simple thing. The best way to do it is to get the correct shifter. Solves all the problems and the boxes work nice and you can move it down through the gears quickly and easily. So I always recommend if you can use the correct shifter for your transmission. Unfortunately often the suppliers don't give us the correct shifter. I often use an Altezza one which is the same as an IS200 in the later versions. So 2000, 2001, 
they had that same A650, and they have the correct shifter. A few other rear-wheel drive Toyotas are the same. So what happens if you don't use the correct shifter? Or in the case of this job, it's off to Thailand, you're going to use a totally different shifter. You can still do those extra ones by putting in some switches. Really, really simple switches. Let's have a, a really quick look at that, and I'll explain how it works. Probably demonstrates a better word. What I've done is I've installed these two switches. And I probably should write on what they are. This is the two, one, and this is the uh, D4. I know this by the colours. So I have a, a test light. I have my shifter. As you can see, I'll, I'll just move my shifter. So I'm presently in low. No, I'm not. I'm presently in neutral. I'm going to put it over here. And I'm moving that selector switch. Just uh, You'd have to use your imagination. So let's pull it back into to, to second, all the way back. We've pulled it back to second, through here, they've actually lined them up beautifully, so second is right at the end, it's in second, I throw the switch, or I move that shifter, ta-da, we have voltage going to the low terminal of the ECU. So the ECU holds that transmission back into first gear. Second, first, second, first, second. You, you get the idea. Let's move it forward. Up into drive. In drive. Again, park, reverse, neutral, drive. Move the shifter. And the ECU sees voltage at the four terminal, dropping it out of fifth, back and holding it in fourth. Fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth, fourth. You get the idea. So that is how Toyota is getting five gears with three mechanical positions and a shifter switch sideways like that. So it's really, really easy, if you know how this works, to make the shifter work, pretty much any shifter, providing the detents are correct on the side of the transmission, put some switches in, you have all five gears. Really simple, really easy, providing you know how it works. So just to recap, what I recommend is get the right shifter much much easier just to wire up the correct shifter alternatively a shifter that is the same that functions mechanically and electronically the same and if you can't do that then some switches and a normal shifter you'll be sorted i actually think the vvti shifter would work really really well in some off-road situations or like the 20 series because it gives you all gears and i could convert it to a manual shift transmission selector really, really well. So I hope that was helpful. We'll catch you again soon.